at least. Then, because of velocity, it must have a normal. Because of speed or pen, it must have tangential. acceleration and the total acceleration vector and this is beta Let, let's come for one by one we'll do one thing first we'll calculate a normal what is the basic definition see whatever happens what is a normal v square by r what is v square k root s whole square by r so this will be k square s by r finish or you will get a normal also as a function of distance <coughs> And then after this, I want a tangential. So first, we know we go to k root s. I'll differentiate this dv by dt. So after differentiating this, k into this is similar to. So when you differentiate this s, 1 by 2, s to power of. 1 by 2 minus 1 into ds by dt. Look at the mathematics. So dv by dt is what? You can write it as tangential acceleration. k by 2. Uh, 1 by 2 minus 1. So this will become root s. ds by dt, again it will become v. Try, try to see this. I'm differentiating this equation with respect to time. dv by dt, ds by dt. So therefore, this will become further. Okay, now uh, what is value of what is value of v? V we assumed it k root s no. So therefore, this will become a tangential equal to k square by two. Look at this. I I want you to really make observation here. Uh, what is the tangential acceleration? Is it constant or variable? It's a constant. What about normal acceleration? It varies. Look at the normal acceleration. It varies with the distance covered. But tangential acceleration, it's a constant. It will not change. So the speed varies with the distance. Then a tangential can be constant as the mathematics is showing us. Then what is the total acceleration vector? Total acceleration vector equal to so this is a normal k square s by r k square by 2. So k square will come outside s square by r square plus 1 by 4. So with with the time what when the distance covered? What do you mean by distance covered this one? Huh? The distance covered. How, sir, how you measure distance covered? I, I, I had to show that also. The distance covered will be this is what is path, no path length. Instead of distance covered, you can say path length. If it in one revolution, what point distance covered will become 2 pi r. Got the idea? So this is next. <coughs> Look at the tan beta. It also varies in one particular way. Tan beta a n by a t. So what is value of a n? A n was k square s by r. This is only k square by 2. So 2s by r. So with the time, what happened to beta? Beta, it initially was 0. With the time, what happened to beta? Beta will keep on increase. So, what happened to a normal? So, okay, this is uh, what, what should happen to total acceleration vector? It will just start deviating away from tangential velocity because beta will increase. Because with the time s will increase, beta will increase. So, the this direction of a bar what happened? It will initially be along v bar. So, gradually what happened? It will rotate. It will rotate away from the tangential velocity a number of revolutions how to bring number of revolutions this is uh, theta first how to bring theta we don't have any information you know so i'll do one thing i'll jump for omega we know v equal to r omega 
we know v cot r omega shall i do like this or any other alternative so instead better let me let me go for alpha no because we know a tangential as we know a tangential equal to r alpha what is a tangential k square by 2 r alpha so what is alpha k square by 2 r so bring theta alpha t square by 2 k square t square by 4 r so once you know theta then number of revolutions theta by 2 pi uh, why alpha t square because initially it was at rest no at t equal 0 particle is at rest so speed as a function of time speed as a function of distance covered yes we can manage here it's it's all about the basic definitions and the integration the calculus has to be applied properly here nothing big already you have enough practice in the variable accelerated motion that you should apply for circular motion 